Good morning, friends. I've heard today is supposed to be something like 80 degrees. So the sky will be blue, the sun will be shining, and I'm curious about what you're going to do with this beautiful, beautiful day. I know that my family, when it's nice out, we like to eat outside. We have a picnic table that's just right over there, and we like to sit at it and have our, our evening meal usually and enjoy the birds singing and the wind blowing and just all the beautiful things that happen outside on a nice day. Um, and I hope that you get a chance to go outside too. Today we're going to be finishing up, or not finishing up, we're gonna be reading the next chapter of Galaxy Zack. We're on chapter six, which is Ready, Set, School. Galaxy Zack was written by Ray O'Ryan and illustrated by Colin Jack, and it is published by Scholastic. So you can get this book at the Scholastic on the Scholastic Book Order or on the Scholastic online um, purchasing options if you want to. But today, as we read Galaxy Zack, we're going to be talking about the summary. The summary is what you do when you go to a movie or you watch a TV show or you play a video game and somebody said, what's it about? And you boil it down to just a couple of things. Like if I were to say, talk about the movie Inside Out. Oh, Inside Out is this really cool movie where there are these different emotions that live in this girl's head and they kind of tell her what to do, but something goes wrong and some of the emotions go to places that they don't want them to. And so those emotions have to go and collect them back so that everything can get back to normal for Riley. And so I didn't go into like, and then Bing, what, what's his name? Uh, Bing, Bing Bong, and then Bing Bong, he went down into the, I don't go tell all those little details, I just tell the real basic surface stuff and so people can just get a real basic idea of what is happening in the story and so they can go, oh, I'm interested in that or oh, I'm not interested in that. So today we're gonna be reading the chapter Ready, Set, School, it's chapter six. And um, last week, you guys drew a picture about what you thought Galaxy Zack's school would look like. Um, and today, we're gonna break down this chapter of what happens in the school in a summary. The interesting thing about a summary is some, you know how like addition and subtraction are related, like addition is the opposite of subtraction. So summaries are basically writing. So the first thing you do when you write is you kind of think of some basic ideas and then when you write it, you put in all the details. And so we're taking out all the details when we have a summary and just boiling it down to just those basic things that are just the original ideas. And so this says Ready, Set, School. And so I already know that my main idea that the author wanted to let us know what's gonna happen, the main idea is Zach goes to school. So that's basically what this chapter is gonna be about because they set us up for it and the title of it is Ready, Set, School. And so we're gonna figure out what his new school is like. And so this is the main idea and then we're gonna put those details down in here of what school is like, but just little snippets. Ready, set, school. Zach went to bed after dinner. He tossed and turned for most of the night. That's just an interesting detail that we're not going to include in our summary. What if nobody at school likes me, he worried. What if they think that people from Earth are weird? I wish Bert were here. After, oops, and here's the picture. After staring at the ceiling for hours, Zach finally fell into a deep sleep. The next morning, a strangely familiar voice woke him up. Good morning, Master Zach. Master Just Zach. It's time to get ready for school. Zach sat upright. <coughs> Excuse me. Zach sat upright in bed. Ira, is that you? He asked, rubbing his sleep from his eyes. Yes, it is 6 a.m. Galactic Standard Time. You set the alarm for that time, Ira said. Yeah, but I didn't expect you to wake me up, Zach explained. Back on Earth, my alarm clock played my favorite song to wake me up. What is your favorite song? Asked Ira. 
Oh, Ira, I don't think you would know it, Zach said. It's called Rockin' Round the Stars. It's by an earth band called Retro Rocket, Ira said. It was released in 2117. Suddenly, the song came blasting into Zach's room. You know Rockin' Round the Stars? Zach cried. Certainly. My mem certainly, my memory banks contain more than six million songs from 23 different planets. <clears throat> Give you a good peek at those pictures. Cool. Can you wake me up with that song from now on? Of course, Ira replied. Now hurry, you will be late for school. Zach rushed into the bathroom and stepped into the shower. Now what? A blast of water startled Zach. Yeah! cried Zach. It's too cold! Adjusting said Ira. The water quickly became just the right temperature. Shall I save that shower setting for you? Ira asked. You do everything, don't you? Yes, I do, replied Ira. Zach got dressed and zoomed into the kitchen. He ate toast with boingo berry jam, which was made from a berry that grew on Venus. Okay, everybody, have a great day, Dad said. Okay, so Zach goes to school. That's our main idea. Do you think that we need to write down any of the parts that have him get or the, that had him get ready for school? I don't think so. Those are all details that help us make it that make it interesting for us and help us understand the character and the setting, but we're still not describing what school was like. And so though we're gonna leave that off for now. If we wanted to have the main idea, if they wanted the main idea to be about how Zach got ready for school then we'd write down all those details. But those are just kind of telling us a little bit more information. I have an early meeting with Fred Stevens. I'll be driving the red New Blonics car. Bye. After dad left, mom hurried Zach and the twins into the green car. Are you sure you know how to work this thing, mom? Asked Zach. Dad showed me, mom replied. I just push this button and say, Sprockets Academy. <clears throat> As soon as she did that, the car zoomed into the air. When they arrived at Sprockets Academy, a nebulite man stepped up to the guard to greet them. Welcome to Sprockets Academy, he said. My name is Mr. Spudnik. I am the principal. Nice to meet you, said Mom. This is Zach, Kathy, and Charlotte. The three kids got out of the car. Now, this is the part where we're going to start paying close attention to what it's like at Sprockets Academy. Kathy and, Char Kathy and Charlotte will be in phase five, Mr. Spudnik explained, and Zach will be in phase two. I'll show you the way. Bye, kids, <clears throat> Mom shouted as Zach and the twins followed Mr. Spudnik. Have a great day. They dropped off Kath Charlotte and Kathy at their classroom. Then Mr. Spudnik and Zach reached Zach's classroom. Ms. Rudolph, this is Zach Nielsen. His family just moved to Nebulon from Earth, Mr. Spudnik said. Zach, this is your teacher, Ms. Rudolph. Welcome, Zach, said Ms. Rudolph. You know, I'm from Earth, too. You are, Zach asked. All right, we have some more information here about what school is like. So one thing that we know is Mr. Spudnik is the principal. So we know that they have a structure similar to what we have on Earth. He has a principal. and teacher, just like us. So that's kind of important to know. It's not a big computer's monitor that he's learning from. He's learning from actual people or live beings. <clears throat> His teacher just said, you know, I'm from Earth too. You are, Zach asked. I moved to Neblon about a year ago, Mrs. Rudolph explained. At first I missed Earth terribly, but now I can't imagine living anywhere but Nebulon. I think in time you'll feel the same way. Zach found a seat and sat down. Ms. Rudolph seems really nice, Zach thought, and nebulites speak English. That'll make things a little easier. Class, I would like you all to meet Zach Nielsen, Mrs. Ms. Rudolph said. The students turned to face Zach. Every eye in the room was staring right at him. So that's something else that we can say. We can say that they speak English. Oops, English is capitalized. 
and there are lots of students. But if we wanted to summarize that even more, we could say, Zach goes to school. The school is just like our school, right? <clears throat> so I could erase that all and say, the school is just like our school. And that's chapter seven. Can you believe that we already finished that? So what we learned about the school is Zach goes to school, there's a principal and a teacher, they speak English, and there are students. So I'm gonna summarize all that and put it together and say, Zach's school is a lot like our school. I think we can all agree to that. All right, so I'm gonna have some worksheets attached below so that you can practice summarizing at home. Have a great weekend. Don't forget, it's Mother's Day on Sunday, so make sure to take some time to make a card for the woman in your life who you love. It can be your mom, it can be your grandma, it can be your aunt, it can be a neighbor, it can be anybody who you want to share that appreciation for. I'll see you soon, I love you, and I'll talk to you later, bye.